my dad was a, a sports guy. He he was a coach, basketball, uh, mostly basketball, but a football coach. But uh, I had four. I have four brothers. So, and they and a few neighbors. Uh, Mike Gotro lived across the street. He was uh, he was quarterback at Central Foos before I uh, was there. So he he was athletic guy. And then all my brothers were athletic. So we had some we had some great football, basketball games, baseball games, just in our front yard. We had a lot of room. Uh, to throw the ball and catch and punt and kick and so um, yeah we were always watching TV watching a sporting event and we then at halftime we we'd hit the hit the yard and either playing hoops or throwing the ball doing something basketball was my first love and uh, I, I, I love to play basketball I've, I've growing up all the way through high school I, I practiced basketball more than I practiced football I went to more I, I never went to a football camp uh, I've been to many, multiple basketball camps. Um, like I say, I, in my spare time, that's what I did for a hobby. I love to shoot hoops and practice basketball. Um, that's what I thought I was going to play in college. That's what I wanted to play in college. And then about my junior year in high school, we started having a lot of success in, in football. And Bob Grow was there and, and brought Central Lafouche kind of back from from really no history of, of good football, maybe a couple years in the past. but took us from 0 and 10 to 10 and 0 in five in five years so I was I was a part of that if I had one thing I, I wish I would have played in an, a, an era in basketball where there was a three-point line that's the only thing I wish I could have experienced because I, 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 I like to shoot from just about anywhere on the court <laughs> and uh, I, I shot from pretty far out and uh, I, I just we never were rewarded we were just rewarded by two points uh, back in those days but that, I think about that often I just man I just I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful I just look back at all the great players that I played with just in my high school uh, um, Jimmy Goodrum and Jamie Lawson just two of them went to LSU I went to LSU there were others that went to Nichols uh, Mike Robichaud, show John Perry my brother was a great player caught some balls basketball I can remember going to Louisville to uh, a basketball camp when I was a junior and it took a lot, I, I looked around and I was like, man, there's a lot of guys that look just like me, that play like me and do the same things I do in basketball. And, and really, you know, there weren't that many throwers in, in football at the time. So I thought, well, you know, LSU, it's a good place to be. And I kind of caught the football fever. And that's kind of when I made that decision was about my midway through my senior years. I said, you know, I, just, I think I'm going to play football. Coach Grow was uh, very instrumental in, in encouraging me to explore the football route. He, he said, you know, you can play this game, you're really good at it. And, and so uh, I kind of owe probably a lot to him uh, as far as just encouraging me to, to, uh, to take a look at football and, and, and explore that avenue. My dad's a, a Nickel State grad. Um, my mom's a USL grad. So I didn't I didn't know a whole lot about LSU football. Now I knew my dad uh, told me how good Mike Hillman was. I mean, he, he was there and, and knew Coach Hillman, Dudley Hillman. Um, so I knew I knew that he was a really good player. But I knew him more from being a great player at Lockport High School, not at from from LSU uh, from that aspect. And I know he wore he wore 13 as well. Well, I I, I still enjoyed playing basketball, and and I I didn't want to really give it up. So I thought maybe a school. Uh, even if it was a smaller school where I could play both. Uh, I was thinking of that. I, I, I did give that. Stanford offered uh, me to, to go there on a football scholarship but to play basketball. I looked at Tulane, but that was a football deal. Um, it, it really, when push came to shove, once I got to Baton Rouge, once I, I, I visited here, Eric, um, Eric Andelsek, Nacho Abogamo took me out on my visit. Ruffin was here the same weekend, and we just all hit it off. And I was like, man, this is this is home. Um, this is home for me. This is the place where I want to want to be. Want to spend the next four or five years. And um, I've, I've never regretted it, and never never have looked back. It's been it was been, it's been great for me. Looking back for me, it was great that I didn't know LSU football history. I didn't think it was a big deal. I just thought. Look, dude, you, you've been playing, you, you were Lockport Junior High Pirate, you were pretty good. You were at Central Foos Trojan, you are pretty good. This is just another school, it's just another step. Yeah, everybody else is better, but you're better too. Um, don't get caught up in the, the emotion and, and feeling pressure and things like that. It's just, I mean, the football feels still the same size, you know, and the ball's the same size. So do what you do. And so, so it was a blessing that I, that I didn't know much about LSU.
Fourth down, 10 yards to go. 1.47 to go in the game. LSU wins or loses on this play, it would appear. Oh, well, this, all the things that I remember most and uh, have the, the, the fondest memories of um, it all happened in the dorm. And a lot of things I can't, there's some things I can't repeat and there's some things I can repeat. And there's great stories because there's great com uh, camaraderie within the dorm in a setting like that. In, in Broussard Hall, we, we just had a lot of memories. And uh, also on, on the field, most people... <laughs> they get a kick I guess out of uh, you know we always talk about the uh, most athletes want to talk about the great things that they do and and I can remember uh, this is not one of those instances uh, we were at Kentucky and Eric Anosek jumps off sides and uh, he hits everybody on the defense you know and he's talking smack and so I was a true freshman I was a redshirt freshman and he came back to the huddle and I thought I would take control of the situation and I'm, I'm gonna scold Derek and uh, as soon as I open my mouth he says he, he tells me to shut my mouth and he pushed me out of the back of the huddle and I fell on the ground I just rolled in the back of the, in the middle of the game so uh, that was quite embarrassing for a guy like me uh, but there's little things like that little moments and in, in, uh, most of them are uh, just funny things and it's not about playing uh, 30 years I guess we're coming on and, and the numbers that up that you know I say we that the whole team were able to put up and um, just thankful that we were in an era that was kind of dominated by the run and we we threw the ball and we were kind of the forefathers of, of throwing the ball in the Southeastern Conference and so it was neat it's, it's really cool to, to look back and and just to know just to be a part of that we had a bad organization we were in the middle of selling uh, the Patriots the, the stadium was bankrupt I mean it was just a bad deal um, when you say Patriots they, all the young kids are thinking oh that's great uh, we, we were terrible um, back then the organization was terrible and now they're they're the cream of the crop I and mean, it's the best it's the best organization in the league so quite a bit different I'm a small person I'm a, 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 for a football player I'm, um, my hands aren't as big as they probably should be. Um, I'm a thin person as compared to other quarterbacks in the league. If you see me on the street, you wouldn't think I was a small guy, but when you watch, when you see NFL players, um, so there's a there's a certain from a from a size standpoint that I think I was I was lacking, um, but also I played on a really bad team. Um, it's it sucked a lot of the life out of me and confidence out of me. Uh, also playing in the Northeast, uh, the, the wind blows a lot. You have low humidity. It's hard. There's not a lot of tack on the ball. We can go through a lot of things that, uh, you know, were the demise of, of my career. But uh, um, I like to say I just was good enough <laughs> uh, to make it in the NFL. But uh, I had six years of, of, I met a lot of great people, and, and I was able to make a living for six years. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm pretty thankful, and I feel blessed for, for getting that many years. And the Saints said, well, the, the Cowboys picked him up mid-season. Let's, let's bring him in for a workout. And when I worked out, I actually, I, 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 I'm a, I like to tell kids, I'm a professional thrower. I know how to throw the ball. Um, and, and I had a good workout. So they said, yeah, we'll sign you. And, uh, but I was lucky. Um, another guy got hurt. Another quarterback got hurt. Um, I actually played pretty well, and I, I made the roster. And then uh, Carl Smith was was. Um, really a, a, a good friend and uh, also I think he was a, a big factor in me making the roster and I think he you know he, he vouched for me and said this guy can can help us and it's good backup and and so I'm thankful to, to have had two years there and I, Carl was a big part of, of me being there. Yeah I'm a, I'm a manufacturer's rep of electrical equipment apparatus I sell to Entergy, Clico, Dimco, all the co-ops uh, and investor-owned utilities, municipalities that uh, supply uh, mom and pop and 
your, your businesses, we supply electricity and they need transformers and wiring cable and, and that's the kind of stuff we sell. We represent uh, different manufacturers that sell to, to whoever your utility company is. Um, we, we sell them, whatever we can sell them, we, we try to do it and it's a good business to be in, good salt of the earth people and um, I don't think you'll meet finer people in that, in that industry. So it's, 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 been a, it's been a good 13, 14 year ride. Uh, the way that LSU played out, the quarterbacks had all left. Uh, the, the, we had a, a veteran team when I was a freshman, and just it just played out perfectly for me. And I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, just I've been lucky, you know, my whole life. It's been great.